Hey, I've been promising a video on this uh, Meepo V2, and I thought I'd do a little bit of it right now. Um, I've been riding this board for probably a uh, good about three months now, and I ride it all the time. I live in Washington. Um, kind of have to, as far as the rain goes, I can't wait for that. These things aren't waterproof, but I've put this thing through some wet conditions. Um, and uh, just kind of want to talk about it. I haven't had a single problem with it. It's uh, it's pretty fast. It's good on hills. I was going to kind of show you some uh, some things with it today, as far as how it climbs and different things like that, and how it's held up. So uh, this will be a quick video. Uh, some people have asked about it, how good it's been. I love it. It's 30 inches. You can throw it in the back of your car, real easy. Um, uh, charge time's good on it, you know what I mean? Battery life, I've been consistently getting about eight to 10 miles. And keep in mind, I'm 230 pounds, um, especially fully clothed. Um, sometimes I'll have a backpack. <clears throat> so I'm pushing that limit of 250 uh, pounds, uh, just depending on what I'm wearing or, or if I bring a backpack. Um, but it's been really good, I've been impressed with it. So I've pushed the limits on it as far as battery and things like that, and I've uh, been pretty happy. So here's, uh, We'll do a little bit of screwing around and uh, show you a little bit more about the board. All right, here it is. Uh, not cleaning it or anything, just been abusing it. And as you can see, it's dirty. It's seeing everything, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got some tail stops, uh, pushing the limit on carving on some of these spots on the board. Uh, yeah, there's some down in there, grinding on it. A few chips in the front, but you know, wheels are holding up well. Um, and it's been resilient. I mean, I wipe it down and clean it, don't get me wrong. But I went on kind of a wet ride yesterday. And, uh, and so I still got a little bit left over, but uh, I wanted to play again today. Get some charge on it and uh, keep using it. Uh, this is a pretty good gradual hill. Uh, this isn't by any means steep, but just kind of show you the consistent power it'll have. So let's go for a spin. This is section uh, this commuter trail is pretty good as far as some ups and downs and kind of show speed. So here we go. Now, a lot of people ask about speeds and different things. And I seriously, after a couple months, and I have been for a while, I pretty much just ride this board on uh, on four. Sometimes I'll step down to three if I'm in a crowded area. Sorry about the wind noise, but it's a windy day and we're gonna ride. And these bikers are on hills are just weak. <laughs> uh, I did some speed testing yesterday next to an electric scooter and the electric scooter could only max out at 17 miles an hour and I was pulling away from him. So, uh, kind of tells and proves the speed on this thing. So, I just climbed up that hill, no problem. And as you see ahead of me, lots of ups and downs. But this thing's smooth. Um, at my weight, I can handle the way that the trucks were set. I did tighten them a teeny bit. But I don't get a lot of speed level. Sometimes at, uh, you know, I'm trying to get top speed. But that's generally uh, compensated by just kind of loosening your stance. You know, also the, the reach end braking on this thing is pretty great. I, I live in an area where, um, kind of by the water, so we travel down towards the water and then uh, I'll be traveling back up and. You know, I'll burn some burn some battery on the hills, and this thing does a really good job of regenning on some of the long down slopes. As far as just kind of some steady, easy braking on it. Uh, a lot of people talk about the jerking of the controllers on some of these hub motors. You know, this one, this latest version on these Meepos is really good. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, I'll admit. Just uh, kind of getting the feel and how much you know uh, thumb pressure you putting, you know, forward and back, but. It actually works pretty easy, and uh, like I said, I ride it really comfortably on the uh, Expert and Pro levels three and four on this controller. So, not really a lot to complain about there. 
Uh, again, you know, you got to be careful with these first impressions on these things because just like anything else, you know, learning to ride a bike, learning your first time on a skateboard, you're, you're falling, you're wobbly, you know, you got to get your balance and stuff. And it takes a while to get used to. So uh, you just got to stay at it. And next thing you know, you just expect the speed. You expect the little bit of, you know, the torque that these, these hub motors have. So um, just give them some time. I'll tell you what, so far I've liked it. And uh, I think everybody will enjoy it. Here's some, here's some uh, sounds of the regen braking. So you can really feel it pull back and, and hear it regening. Ah, can't say enough, man. These things are way, way too fun. And for the price of these dual hub motor, this V230, I like the short. Can't beat the price, man. Just under 400 bucks. There's nothing like it, I think. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm addicted and going to build a belt drive, homemade, because I have a longboard I want to play with. Again, just being budget-minded, but really enjoying this one. I'm not looking to replace this at all. I'm going to keep it. A lot of fun. All right, guys, back at the uh, house now. Just putting the uh, board back. <laughs> uh, craziest thing happened. Uh, on the way back, I live at the bottom of a steep hill, and... I'm kind of when I come down this steep hill on the road, it's full break, and I came to a stop at the uh, at the uh, stop sign, and this car was next to me, and I noticed my shoe was untied, so I was just bent down, had the control in my hand still, and I bumped the thumb uh, accelerator forward, and so the boo the board moved out into the street, and. I was telling the guy to stop and he was making his turn and I ran out there to get it and I tried flipping it in reverse to flip it back and he his front tire just missed the board and then um, and then his rear tire ran right over my board and I was like oh my god that's the end of my board but um, uh, here I'll, I'll show you this thing is tough let me show you so here it is not broken however I did end up with this crack right here so we'll see over time how serious that ends up being a problem but let's just put it that way that the board versus a Volkswagen Jetta uh, well I cracked and the dude didn't even stop or anything I mean just the back of his car flied over it and he didn't put his brakes on or anything I kind of was like hey dude what happened and that scuff is probably from his tire when it was going over the top. But, I don't know, man. <laughs> Tough. Anyway, um, this thing takes a lot of abuse. Proving it. I'm not even being nice to this thing, as you can tell. But, hasn't flinched, hasn't acted weird. Um, reliable, does the same thing every time. And, uh, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, the uh, Campus 2 my son has doesn't get quite as much abuse as mine because I literally try and use this thing as much as possible. So, anyway, if you want a car, a good uh, good board to uh, throw in the car and have with you, like I said, 8 to 10 miles, 230 pounds is what I am. Uh, I don't have verified top speeds, but like I said, I pull away from... You know those rental scooters that go about 17 um so you know it's good i've seen other videos where these guys you know get about 21 miles per hour flat out i'm on the heavy side for riders um 63 also so me getting about 20 miles per hour right around there is, is believable so anyway thing's still alive i'm gonna try and break it see you guys later hope you enjoy the video uh feel free to like this one and subscribe I'll keep abusing these things. See what they uh, see what they got. Later.